Yes, hello, welcome to uh, my new screencast on Scritchy. What's Scritchy? Scritchy is a, a CQRS framework. Uh, I'll show you how to build a CQRS up in a few in a few uh, in a very short time. So let's get started. Let's uh, start a new project. I'll just uh, store it somewhere. on the local files and I'll call this uh, a bank account let's create a satisfaction for a solution as well so how do we get started we simply add a new get package and we search for online we search for scritchy And we install it. Okay, that's all we have to do. So, um, as you might have noticed, there are a few assemblies that have been added: Scritchy infrastructure, domain mutants of JSON, and also some files, up data, uh, with some example databases. We'll look into that later on, but for now, we'll just uh, do it like this. So. Let's start by creating a bank account. Yes, I would like to rename this. So what do we have to do uh, for the bank account? We will have a few comments. So let's just do this new space comments. Namespace. events so we could have a comment uh, let's say for example class uh, create a bank account which would be public of course and this would have properties string ID. Now this would be a bank account. Uh, for the account, let's actually choose a better name, refactor rename. Since we're doing DDD, we might as well use proper naming and let's also add the uh, owner name voila so how do we start implementing this uh, we need to derive this from active root and uh, we would say okay your bank account when we create what do we want to do we want to uh, launch an event so how can we do this let's make this a little bit large this as well okay so what do we do we simply copy his name and follow this convention Now what do we want to do? We want first we want to verify whether the owner name is defined. So then we would say, okay, I want to generate a new event. And that event would be named, of course, bank account register. Let's 
which would have a bank account ID equaling the current ID and owner name equaling owner name. So you see it's pretty straightforward in getting this done. Next thing we want to do, we want to generate this class of course. We also want to generate the properties. So now if we take a look, this should be the event. And make it a little bit uh, a little bit more suitable by just using some convention. Let's do it like this. Let's let's go back. Now we can delete this. So what's on what's uh, another possible comment that we can uh, have? We can also. What you call it? Deposit an amount, which would be a decimal amount, of course. And we can also withdraw an amount. similar so the next thing we want to do is we want to copy these over so this would be a decimal amount we need to make these classes public these members public as well. Public. So we want to be sure that the amount you can So new event amount deposited with a bank account ID of one ID. the amount so let's generate this guy as well let's just So it's all pretty straightforward. Voila, that's it. Now what is the next next thing we have to do? We have to make sure that when these events are called, 
if you actually, actually update the balance in here on your clock. So what am I going to do? I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to say public void. Okay, let's conclude. This is pretty simple as well. You simply copy the name and the parameters. And then we simply apply the change. So we say balance plus equals one. And we do the same for the amount withdrawn. Which we mutate. So now we have our uh, basic application in place. Let's just uh, add a new project. Let's just uh, for now uh, do everything in the code behind to do that. So what do we need to do? We need to create a new bus go back to this web application to this code behind switchy bus so let's see what happens uh, what did I Let's see what happens. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few breakpoints in here. Well, and here as well. Now let's 
Surrender. 